catch up on all the live shows right here on africatechradio.com. As of 2023, the GDP of Africa was estimated at roughly 3.1 trillion US dollars. This was the highest value since 2010, when the continent's GDP amounted to approximately 2.1 trillion US dollars. The GDP value in Africa generally followed like an upward trend in recent years and was estimated to exceed 4.2 trillion US dollars by 2027. Now, the global logistics market size was accounted for about 7.98 trillion US dollars in 2022 and is expected to be worth around 18.23 trillion US dollars by 2030. And the total logistics costs on the continent of Africa recorded about 344.2 billion US dollars. Presently, intra African trade stands a bit low at 14.4% of total African exports. And it means that Africans are not exactly doing business and trading with Africans. Why? Well, that's what the AFCFTA, the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, came to solve. And we're hoping that with the Central Bank of Kenya being the 10th bank to officially sign up to the payment system by the under the AFCFTA, would have more trade on the continent by Africans. And it means we're going to also have more money. Well, market value and GDP increases. And it also means that the cost for logistics will also increase. But can African logistics startups benefit from the AFCFTA, the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement? How exactly can they do this? I have with me Stephen Elisha, the Director of Sales at Cheap Africa IO, and Taiwo Fabju. I hope I said the name right. Fakoju. Yes, Taiwo Fakoju, the Chief Operations Officer at ShipAfrica.io. Please, if I didn't say your name right, please tell me how exactly do I say your name? <laughs> Hi, Taiwo. How are you doing today? I'm very excited to be here today. And I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a very good day. It's sunny day. I mean, there's no rain today. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Taiwo. And Taiwo is the Chief Operations Officer at ShipAfrica.io. And I also have with me Steven. Did I say Elisha or Elisha? Elisha. Elisha. Okay. How are you doing today? Thank you for having me. Beautiful. He is the Director of Sales at Ship Africa. Let's start with the current state of logistics on the continent. You know, what's maybe the value of the industry, you know, kind of transactions we're doing. What state are we on currently on the continent when we talk of logistics? Who wants to go first? So uh, when we talk of logistics, logistics is actually a very big market space. And mm-hmm. just like you've read, it, read in your statistics, Africa is not doing very, we are not actually doing as much as we ought to. Logistics in the global market is about $5 trillion. Mm-hmm. And out of this $5 trillion, Africa only have about $586 billion. I mean, which is actually pretty small considering the size of Africa and what we could actually do. And, but I mean, obviously, we know that there are a whole lot of uh, issues regarding logistics, speaking of infrastructures and all of these things. Uh, but with the advent of the Af- African Trade Zone Agreement, it's mm-hmm. something that we hope and feel like by the time it's, it's all fully implemented, all of these barriers are going to be, will be something of the past and I mean, we will do better than what we are doing at the moment. Mm, mm. So, what do you think? So, yeah, like what my colleague rightly said, like Africa actually face a whole lot of challenges in terms of infrastructure. I mean, if, uh, they face a challenge to touch like uh, transport and transportation, inadequate road network, um, ports and railways. Imagine all these uh, re- uh, avenues are, are, are working perfectly. I don't feel sh- they should be struggling with uh, logistics uh, cross border in the continent. Mm. So if we're looking at the challenges that the AFCFTA will be solving for logistics sector, what kind of challenges do you think that the AFCFTA will be solving for the logistics sector? And that's for Steven. Okay, one, well, uh, the, uh, the, the AFCTA will solve a whole lot of challenges. So I'll take it, uh, I'll just mention a few. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, first is uh, fragmented markets. So uh, the FCA is aimed to create a single market by removing trade barriers 
and harmonizing resolutions, which will facilitate smoother logistic operations. Mm -hmm. And uh, also transportation infrastructure, like I just said before, you know, mm -hmm. over time, many African countries have, have inadequate transportation infrastructures, including road network problem, mm -hmm. railways and ports. So the, F the AFCTA is encouraging infrastructural development and investment to improve the flow of good goods the inflow of goods within the, the continent mm. now for logistic companies preparing for the opportunities and better positioning themselves for these opportunities i'm talking startups to included what kind of opportunities you know should these startups and logistic companies be preparing for what possibilities are there for startup companies and those in the logistics space i mean i like this question because uh, i mean where there is issue there's always an opportunity mm -hmm. and with the advent of the efcta there's a whole lot of things going to be happening in the logistic business mm -hmm. a lot of positioning just like you rightly said companies like has ship africa now uh, we are a mutual company that assists but whether regardless of your status your educational background we have both we have hubs almost on LD State in Nigeria. Mm, well has okay. and have room and touch. In as much as people that we are uh, an aggregator, we don't we figure it out that people still want to connect with other people. Mm -hmm. And also language barriers. Uh, we figure it out that bringing people from outside a uh, political area mm -hmm. is also an issue. So we bring people from within their area as well by we are positioned. Mm -hmm. We have uh, someone from that environment in, uh, that actually works with Ship Africa and also can speak their language. It can help out our customers move their goods from one end to another. And with the advent of the ESCTA, uh, there is opportunities to actually for a broader market where as raw material services can actually be exported from Nigeria and other African countries without any form of issues. Mm. So, what things should we watch out for? Because, yes, there are challenges that are going to be solved or resolved. There are also opportunities, right, for you know, a lot of things to happen. But what pitfalls should startups in the logistics space be looking out for? What should we watch against or guard against? African country, uh, we have a whole lot of deficits regarding professionals and all of this. And... For us to be able to move from where we are to the point we ought to be, we need to engage a lot of professionals as well as improve our custom and borderline issues. Yes, uh, we have to guide against this mm -hmm. because uh, without uh, we having to put all of these things in check, we are still not going to be able to do as much as we ought to. Mm -hmm. But having to have a single harmonized border agreement is almost impossible for us to be able to move faster than we uh, we ought to so i feel like this is things we need to put in check for us to be able to increase our productivity mm -hmm. so like all my colleagues saying about the inefficient border crossing although lct a goal is to streamline customer procedures some crossing may be remaining inefficient due to administration hurdles and corruption and inconsistent implementation of trade facility measures so if they can get rid of all of those stuff process would be even if it's not perfect close to what we want right yes. so what should we be looking out for in terms of predictions do you see you know like heaven you know the the space becoming heavenly are you excited about what will happen in next few years you know on the continent how excited are you and how much of mergers and acquisitions you know and partnerships should we be expecting on the continent yes i'm pretty excited i mean uh give it another five years i feel there's going to be a lot of players coming into this industry as definitely the market space will be so large that even those that are playing currently might be overwhelmed so i feel like there's going to be a lot of hurdles yes it might be difficult yes but the market space will virtually, if not more than 100%, increase. Mm. In the next five years, at least currently we are at 386 billion. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at us being at at least a trillion dollars. Oh, okay. 
in the next five years. Mm. I mean, because I mean, uh, we are going to be doing, having a whole lot of market, a lot of uh, importation, exportation within African countries. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can easily move our gari from all the way from Lagos mm -hmm. down to Accra, Ghana. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. cocoa mm -hmm. and all of these things. I mean, and obviously, as you can say, agriculture is the way now. ASCT is standing to bridge this gap. We eventually increase African market and even beyond. Mm. So that's it. Right. Stephen, what do you think? Are you as excited? Do you also think that it's going to be maybe, uh, what did you, one billion? Yes, that, a, a trillion. One trillion, actually. Do you you self got even benefits from it. You also have your own uh, logistic business. I mean, this will help uh, logistic businesses to, to have more integrated markets. This means that they can offer their services to a broader range of clients. I mean, mm -hmm. Build their more customer base across yeah. Africa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that means even uh, you uh -huh. can open your logistics business <laughs> and then start benefiting from the yeah. uh -huh. uh -huh. So now, how positioned is like Ship Africa? Um, is Ship Africa actually ready? Is, is, uh, is Ship Africa positioned to take advantage, full advantage of the AFC FTA? as it has started and when it actually gets into full implementation status so ship africa as a business we've come to stay we've come to implement a whole lot of factors a lot of challenges that are that, that actually affecting the the, the, the logistics sector mm -hmm. so in terms of technology mm -hmm. it's very easy now for for customers to easily book shipment from their comfort of their of their home yeah. I mean, you can stay in your house, instead of you going, struggling to go and start dropping off and all of that, they can come to your doorstep, pick up, and get it delivered to any part of the world, mm -hmm. both local and international. And also integrate on our platforms, very easy for, for SMEs and uh, most especially 3PLs to use our platform. What are 3PLs? So 3PLs are third-party logistics. Okay. Businesses, yes. Okay. Okay. And what yes. do you think? I... Ship Africa is actually uh, in the front burner of this uh, crusade because we we uh, we we have a lot of people in Ship Africa that are experienced in this field, and we've been able to figure out what the pain points are, uh, which we get. I mean, tech tech has actually done it has actually done a lot of good for us. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it has its own pitfall, mm -hmm. and so with Ship Africa, we are able to merge both the traditional ways of uh, logistic and also uh, having, having to have our technology, which actually increase uh, our customer base as to not having to reduce it to just people that are inclined or tech savvy. Whether you are tech savvy, whether you're an old person, young, old boy, woman, I mean, you, you can actually use our service. Some people, some people find it easy for them to just go out and go drop off. I mean, they want to know the person. I mean, we have trust issues and deficit yeah, in this part of yeah. the world. Um, so, which is why we have our hub uh, across Nigeria at the moment. And definitely we are moving to Af other African countries. Mm -hmm. So, with that, we will be able to service customers that want uh, touch, human touch. Mm -hmm. And for customers that prefer uh, having to stay in the comfort of their house and their shipment, mm -hmm. we also have that. I mean, with our tech, mm -hmm. we can always move your shipment from one end to another. So obviously, yes, we are already prepared for uh, the halvings of the AFCTA and we believe that, I mean, we are going to be leading and we are going to make a whole lot of change in the industry. Beautiful. And that's, I would say, is a win-win for customers, whether you're on this side, you want to sit at home and see tech work for you, or you also want to have that human touch. You want yeah, to make a comment on that? It's a challenge process. I yeah. Mean, use our platform in I need to travel from Shrike, what is the place that you are the pipe? From uh, mm, uh, from Aja. <laughs> okay, okay, so you can just pick it up from Kuiketja. Mm -hmm. You can just come to your doorstep. Just arrange your shipment and then they'll come pick it up and then make it easy for you instead of you traveling to go and do drop off and all of that. Mm -hmm. So, so what exactly do your roles entail? Because if I'm if I'm watching, you know, I'm looking at you, you know, talking, dropping points and you know allowing me take notes down i'm wondering what exactly does your role entail in the logistics space um steven first so, um, and like me for sale uh i mean we are selling components for customers 
they are making custom easy, easy for customers to get access to logistic platform. Okay. okay. Integrating all of these partners so that they can have choice of whom they want to use to do their shipment. So when uh, the the CEO right of Ship Africa was here on I think uh, a few weeks back, I mean he talked about the number of partners that are have been integrated you know to ship africa do you, do you want to maybe touch on that a little bit currently we have over 100 of them now so they are actively using our platform to ship so far so they've not they've not been any complaint beautiful and what does your role entail as the person who is the operations all well, thanks to him <laughs> the pass the ball to you. Yes. <laughs> all right so i mean uh just like you has rightly said that mm-hmm. uh we sell convenience but we are here to get our hands dirty. Uh, we are the one that do the, lo- I mean, dirty work, just so that our customers can have a better service. Mm. Uh, we, uh, my world role at Ship Africa enables me to be able to put everyone in checks and ensure that customers first, because we are customer centric with Ship Africa, which has been responsible to break down any barriers, just so that our customers can get uh, their, their items or get a better service. So we do the dirty job. Mm. and ensure that i mean everything is going as well customer regardless, yeah regardless Co- of the timing and we work at night midnight every time and then the city never sleeps they say well at an affordable cost well you can get everything done through ship africa that's iom now finally an advice for someone who wants to get into the role you are in now like just look at your younger self and give the person an advice so i mean like me, I'm someone that that I like doing I like doing things that 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 seems impossible for me. So I some from my my colleagues, former colleagues will ask you, ah, oh, Stephen, how do you transit from selling fintech phones to logistics? I say, I mean, the sky is very big for every bird to fly. Mm-hmm. So I I I just make it of the opportunity I have because if you don't make make it of opportunity that you have, it's your fault. So. My friend introduced me to the logistic uh, industry and I now saw a bigger picture of it and I now said, okay, I can make something out of this. Let me go into it full time and, and this is me today. Okay, so the advice would be just do it. My advice is whatever you feel you can do, just do it. Just do it. And always make use of the opportunity you have. If you don't make the opportunity that you have, it's your fault. Oh, okay. And Taiwo? I'll say, never say no. Uh, I mean, I have a positive mindset towards everything that you come across I, I mean even if you are yet to figure it out completely even when it is still you are still picking out the pieces here and there so just go with your gut and never say never mm. thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with me african logistics startups can clearly benefit from the africa continental free trade area agreement if if only like you know we've heard words of motivation today startups and the companies in the logistics sector are ready because the afcfta is actually ready in just a minute um sell ship africa you know like and what they do in just a minute shipafrica.io is a logistic aggregator give you access to other logistic partners the likes of dhl ups and fedex rms and all of that so we integrated these guys on our platform where you can make choice for yourself on the on, the, on each of the uh, platforms you, you would like to use to book your shipment but you can choose is it dhl i want to use is it ups i want to use or is it fedex and the prices are there like you can easily make choice for yourself the prices that are convenient for you just pick it up and then then your shipment they come to your doorstep pick it up and deliver doorstep to your whoever you're sending it mm. Thank you very much, Stephen Elisha, Director of Sales at ShipAfrica.io. Thank you for your time and sharing your thoughts with us today. Thank you very much for having me. Yes, and to Taiwo Fakuju. I hope I got your name right. Yes, here. yes. Good. Right this time around. Yes, the <laughs> Chief Operations Officer at ShipAfrica.io. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and your time with us. Thank you. Thanks for listening. And don't forget to catch up on all the live shows right here on AfricaTechRadio.com.